Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today, we're going to be looking at the definition of the short interest ratio, the short ratio, or the days to cover ratio. They are known as all three of those. Uh, as I do in each one of these, I will give you the actual definition, and then we will look at some examples and give you a little more in-depth understanding. The short ratio is a sentiment indicator that is created by dividing the short interest, the total number of shares currently short, uh, sold short, um, by the average daily volume for a stock or market average. That average is based on a years of trading activity. Uh, the short ratio is used by both fundamental and technical traders to identify the prevailing market sentiment for a specific stock or market average. The short ratio provides a number that is used by investors and traders to determine how long expressed in number of days it will take short sellers to cover their short positions if the price of the stock were to begin to rise. Now let's go look at some examples. Okay, I am on the Yahoo Finance page, key statistics for Intel, the company, and you will see that this particular uh, indication right here, short ratio, uh, it's right there on that uh, particular page. However, you can find this information almost anywhere. Google Finance will have it. Uh, you'll be able to find it with your discount broker, many, many places to find this information. A uh, couple of key notes to remember. Uh, the short ratio is not uh, updated every single day. So uh, one of the complaints with the short ratio is that it can be outdated data. Let's for, say, for example, that you were looking at it as being uh, 4.5 right now, but that was uh, as of August the 15th. Today is August the 27th. Therefore, that number could be drastically different from this point. Uh, so you need to keep, keep in mind when the data was updated. If, for example, I was running a scan the day after the stuff had been updated and I noted that, then it would mean more to me than it does at this particular moment in time. Okay. Uh, also, it should be noted that when you're looking at the short ratio, anything under 5, uh, right here you can see it's 4.5, meaning it would take 4.5 days for short sellers uh, as of August the 15th to cover uh, their position based on the average volume for the past year, average daily volume for the past year. So whenever you're looking at that, keep that in mind that any, anything under five is not really that big of a deal. Um, you can get an indication, for example, if it was a one, the last update, and then all of a sudden it jumps to a five, then that would show that the market sentiment is changing. Um, but it's still not all that uh, extreme. A lot of people will look for it over five to be something that they will um, be interested in betting uh, with or against. Um, also, some traders will uh, require that it be over 10, so it's just a matter of uh, your own personal preference. I would prefer over 10 if you were looking at, uh, you know, dated data as in the situation we're looking at August the 15th, and like I said, it's August the 27th, so uh, looking at something like that and 4.5 wouldn't be all that impressive to me. However, if it was a 10, I might be uh, looking at it a little bit differently. Okay, let's come up with a hypothetical example here, looking at the Intel chart. Now let's say, for example, you were looking at the short interest ratio back during this time period and it was a 1. Uh, and then you see this, this major move here and all of a sudden you get an update on the, the information and it's showing a 5 or a 7 or something of that nature at this point. Uh, that shift in sentiment would, would tell you a lot, would uh, make you realize that uh, investors are not as confident uh, to be buying at this particular uh, level on Intel and so the preceding uh, sell-off would make uh, a lot more sense. You, you, you could argue that you could argue then that the investors are not going to be pressing her any higher as they've just changed their sentiment uh, to be more bearish and that could uh, argue in favor of a pullback. If on the other hand you were looking at it and you happen to have a scenario where it wouldn't work in this particular chart, but let's just assume that uh, the data came out here and you saw that you had uh, back here maybe it was a, a you know, one or two or something of that nature and she runs up here she gets nice and uh, uh, overbought and you see an increase on the short uh, uh, ratio there and then she starts to sell off. At the bottom here, if all of a sudden you see that dry up uh, considerably down to a 1, uh, then you could argue that they have covered their shorts and they expected this to be the low point. And if you had other indicators telling you to be a buyer, that would argue in favor of your buy uh, strategy there. So there's different ways you can use it just as a sentiment indicator. Um, but and there's also the argument that if it's really high and you've had a major pullback, uh, you've already got as short as you're going to get. And when that uh, short covering happens, uh, on any kind of good news, for example, if you were at this point now looking for um, some kind of news from the company on a, a new product or, or something of that nature, uh, you could have a scenario where shorts get caught and they get trapped in a situation where they have to cover their shorts, but you can tell by looking at the short ratio that it's going to take them 10 days to do it based on the average volume. 
uh, average daily volume, then, then you could say that, okay, this is going to be a great buying opportunity because as they begin to start covering their shorts, they're going to get caught and they're going to have to pay higher and higher prices and then it's going to add to the, the speed of the rally and so forth and so on. So there's different ways to, to use it, um, but I wouldn't use it as a, a single indicator to determine any um, trade I was going to make. Now, as I showed you on an earlier uh, example, I was showing you the Yahoo's finance example of the short interest. Now I'm going to show you the Nasdaq.com. Uh, you can look at the short interest there, and it's actually kind of more beneficial to use it here, and I'll show you why. Uh, let's just pick out a company, all right, Wells Fargo, and go on down here. You can see that they actually they show you the last update and a history of where it was. So you can see the change between, okay, last time we were at 1.78, this time we're at 2.0. And you can also get a little chart here in the days to cover uh, showing you exactly, let me clean that up, right, showing you exactly uh, how the uh, short interest to the days to cover ratio has been uh, changing over time with this particular uh, company. All right, so that's something that you can use uh, to benefit yourself as well. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.